Hey guys, we host Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's the Living Dead Dolls. It. So this is the original Pennywise from the 90s based on Stephen King's TV adapted movie, It the Movie. And this is obviously the one, uh, the original It, when I was a kid. Uh, the new version of Pennywise is a lot more sinister and scary, but when I was a kid, believe it or not, this guy was the, the real, the real scaremeister. And uh, Tim Curry brought this character to life in just the most horrifying way, and I loved him so much for it. It's such a cool figure, and it still haunts my dreams. As daft as it was, because he's just a clown, but the, the concept alone is just oh, menacing, and I love it. And whilst the new version, yes, Bill Skarsgård did a brilliant interpretation of the character and did a great job with that story, and I really enjoyed the It in It Chapter 2. However, nothing for me will beat Tim Curry's classic interpretation of It. So guys, let's go ahead and break him out of the packaging so we can take a closer look at the figure, because I am very excited to have it. Okay, no more yet. Snippity snip and open sesame. The Living Dead doll boxes never want to open. Come on. Ah, come on. There we go. The Living Dead doll boxes are one, are one box that I do actually keep. So I do try and be gentle with them. Cool, we've got a nice red box inlay there. Nice. All right, this thing comes with a nice protector on the front as well, which is cool. Which means we've probably got no rope ties underneath there, I don't think. Nope. So he should just pull straight out. So we've got his little balloon. Oh yeah. We have Pennywise. Come on, Georgie, do you want to play? So here he is, guys, out of the packaging, looking absolutely terrifying. Such a cool, cool figure. I really like him so much. Oh, mine's actually damaged on the back. Oh, no. There's a big slash through the back of it, which is a bit upsetting. Oh, that's a bit of a doozy. Um, yeah, bit upset about that. But the figure itself is absolutely immaculate. Very nicely looking. I really like it. Um, obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to explain from the back, so... Is, is that issue with the trousers as well, or is that how they're meant to be? I know the trousers are meant to be like that. Unless that's how the jacket's meant to be, but it just feels weird having that big open space there. Not that I'm going to be, like I say, not that I'm going to be displaying him from that side anyway, so I'm not going to be overly fussed about that. Um, but the, the the actual figure itself is very cool. Uh, loving that teethy face, and <sighs> that looks very cool. And of course he does come with... Kind of moving forward, there we go. It does actually come with a little hole in his hand. And we can give him his balloon. So the balloon comes on a metal sort of rod with a little um, clip at the bottom. So if I just place Pennywise on the desk and then push that in. I'm trying not to bend the... Come on. Ow! That hurt. Come on, what's the point if you're not going to go in? Thank you. So if you hold his hand out, you can actually put a little balloon in his hand using that little nub. I ended up hurting my finger with that, bro. I had a dent in my finger. So you can give him his... Uh, I've got all red hairs all over my desk. Yeah. So you can give him this little um little balloon as well, which is very cool. I really like this figure a lot. It is very cool, it's very nice. Well detailed. He's even got his little booty shoes on. Which is cool. And uh, he's got the little pom pommy things on his front. Articulation wise on these, so you can move the head. Um you can move the head on this one left and right. You can't move it up and down. Oh, you can. There you go. You can look down a little bit as well as up. And uh, the arms do lift up and down at the side hinge. You can also move forward. There's no elbow joints on this one, sadly. Uh, but then the hands are static as well. Legs lift out. I don't want to pull too far, but the legs do lift outwards. 
as well as forwards. No knees or anything like that, but you can get Pennywise's legs all the way forward. So you could even have him in a cute little sat position. So I think that looks pretty cool. So I sat down with the, get the camera. Yeah, so I sat down with that. I think that looks pretty cool. I might have him like that on the desk cam. I might, I'm actually displaying like that up top. I might see if I can sit him like that. But yeah, it's a very cool figure. Very nice. So guys, we'll head on down to the desk cam to give you guys an up-close person look at this figure. So let's head on down to the desk cam. So here is Pennywise, guys. Look how awesome that figure is. I think he looks so cute like that when I sat down. That's generally how I might display him. I think he looks awesome like that. I'm loving the face gloves on this thing as well. It is so good with those fang teeth. It's a great version of Pennywise to have as well when he's growing those teeth and he's going to bite. You know, it's so cool. Um, I wish the hand would close around that. I really don't like the look of how the thing just sticks in. It is the same with Harley Quinn and it's the same with Sam as well. They, have, they all have the same thing because the hands don't articulate. When they shove things in their hands, it just looks weird. But yeah, these dolls are very cool. And uh, I really like this one a lot. The, um, they've really brought the Pennywise figure to life here for me. I love the old horror film as well. Tim Curry definitely is my favourite It of all time. And uh, I've got the actual the NECA figure as well. I'm tempted to get the clothed version of the NECA figure as well. If anyone's interested in seeing that review, let us know. But I have reviewed all the 7-inch regular NECA figures. Bringing Pennywise back up to his full height here, and he is very menacing. Uh, got that that facial expression when he stood up and kind of posed a little bit. It does look very menacing. Uh, the eyes as well are very well painted and do capture that scene very well. The hair does fall out. It is very malty. Um, I have found the little red hairs everywhere since doing this review. And as well, these these fray the clothing frays so easily. As you can see on the side and stuff, if you just don't pull any little loose things you see, as I'm probably sure that's how this probably happened in the first place. Probably saw a little bit of lint, pulled it and ripped it. So I'm you see these at the top, I'm not even touching them. <laughs> so yeah, that's annoying. But like I said, I'm not going to be displaying him from the back. He's going to be displayed from the front, so I'm not too worried. But guys, what are your thoughts on this Pennywise? And which is your favourite Pennywise? Are you a fan of the original one like me, Tim Curry? Or are you a fan of Bill Skarsgård's version? Let me know, guys, in the comments down below your thoughts on this awesome Le on the Living Dead Dolls Pennywise by Mezco. But guys, let's head on back to the main cam and finish off this video. Guys, what are your thoughts with this Pennywise? Let us know in the comments down below. Do you Did you enjoy the original Pennywise movie as a kid? Let us know in the comments. And guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and it helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. Guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, may the force be with you. Bye! <laughs>